see if we're covered in the. Oh, we are covered in the weather department. <laughs> Brian Hackney is here. Ms. Martin, yeah. Ms. Dale Cruz. Hello, Brian. Uh, looking forward to the weekend, I hope. Absolutely. Some nice weather, right? It'll be a good one. Yeah. There's we'll some be, uh, game to be indoors for on I've Sunday. Heard about I haven't heard. Maybe yeah. Saturday will be good. Stay tuned. You'll okay. hear. Uh, we do have a big change coming into the Bay Area, and that's going to be happening on Sunday. Tomorrow looks nice, like today was. Plenty of sunshine, and it does look like it's remaining high and dry for a while. But there is a big change. As we look at uh, Ocean Beach, where they, uh, they are expecting strong winds by the time we hit Sunday afternoon. Big gale warnings offshore. Sunday's the big change that's coming up. Right now, though, in some spots, things have uh, warmed in San Jose and in Hayward. Hayward's 8 degrees warmer tonight than it was last night. In Fairfield, it's cooled by a few degrees. In general, the tendency today was to warm it up a little bit. Oakland's gone to 71 right now, and Livermore has just had 62. Overnight lows will be and continue to be for this time of the year on the unusually warm side with uh, Santa Rosa tonight down to 42 degrees. And down in the South Bay, San Jose will hit 45. For tomorrow, we're looking at high pressure still, and it's a... Uh, yeah, this, this high pressure is going to have to start paying rent in the eastern Pacific. It has not moved. It's low pressure in the Gulf continues to provide this corridor for the high clouds to stream in between the height of the south and the low to the north. But by the time we get to Saturday night, we will see an increase in clouds offshore and the temperature is beginning to come down. See the future cast tomorrow, plenty of sunshine. This is noon on Saturday, so a sunny Saturday for the most part. Then a number of high clouds come in in advance of the cold front, a dry cold front for the most part that's coming through, but it's really going to whip up the winds, drive down the temperatures, and by Sunday evening, even a hint of a drop or two north of Sonoma County. Uh, future cast does show, look at those winds pick up by Sunday afternoon at Half Moon Bay, up to 36 miles an hour, even stronger offshore. It's why they're going to have, or almost certainly going to have gale warnings posted offshore by the time we get to Sunday. So for tonight, we get a partly starry night out of it. Coast and Bay fog. It'll be mild away from the coast on Saturday. A little bit chillier if you're close to uh, Half Moon Bay, Pacifica. It'll be down into the uh, upper 50s. Windy and colder for everybody on Sunday and really windy at the coast as well. For Saturday, we're going to be looking. Santa Rosa will top out at 69 degrees. So very balmy, very nice for Saturday. 67 at Fairfield, 66 at Mountain View, and 69 degrees in San Jose, and 61 in San Francisco. If you miss the fog, we'll have a little bit in the night and early morning hours, but that's about it. Tomorrow, in the warmest spot, 71 inland, 62 around the bay, so distinctly cooler. And at the shoreline, it'll be cool as well for Saturday. Sunday is when the numbers really fall into the 50s. The winds really pick up. It stays cool on Monday and Tuesday. And then we begin to warm it up again for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. The numbers will be in the upper 60s. But still, as far as the computer eye can see, there's not a drop of rain in sight. Unless you're in Miami. They have severe thunderstorm watches posted for tonight through tomorrow morning in Miami. So I'm interested in seeing Dennis's live shots because I want to see if he's seeing any lightning tonight. Well, that's why I tune in.